Hello all. Before I start, I would like to thank Texas Instrument to given us a good opportunity to implement remote vehicle diagnostic prototype. And myself, Sivu Prakash Ramesh Kumar, working for Embedded Product Design, Tata Alexi, and he is my colleague. Myself, Karthik Duray Sami, working for Embedded Product Design, Tata Alexi. Remote Vehicle Diagnostics The idea of Remote Vehicle Diagnostics is to diagnose the vehicle remotely, wherein the service center or OEM connects the vehicle remotely to monitor the health of the vehicle and troubleshooting. The major benefit of Remote Vehicle Diagnostic is to reduce the overhead of car owners, for example, to take their car to service center for troubleshooting. It also avoids calling off the vehicle to reprogram the ECU. How to implement Remote Vehicle Diagnostics? It can be implemented easily via internet connectivity, wherein most of the vehicle has internet connectivity nowadays. The trend and market potential of remote vehicle diagnostics is growing every year. From the recent study conducted by third party, out of 18,000 car owners, 55% of car owners are interested in remote vehicle diagnostics in 2011. Now, 65% of car owners are interested in remote vehicle diagnostics. Use case what we implemented as shown. First, user authentication, wherein the service center requests vehicle connection by a login credential. Vehicles allows user to access if it match. Device authentication, service center ensures vehicle authentication by sending a random key. Vehicles allows the user to access if key is matched. Now the vehicle is connected, service center requests the fault data, vehicles provides it. Service center wanted to control input and output, for example, activated to move. Yes, vehicle responded. Service center reads or monitors the data, for example, sensor data. Yes, vehicle provides it. And service center sends information, for example, service warranty expired. Yes, it is displayed in telematic ECU so that car owners get an alert. TA component, what we used for our remote vehicle diagnostic prototype as shown. There are five ECUs are connected through Canvas, HVAC, Telematics, ABS, BCM, ECM, ECU. Telematic ECU provides the internet network connectivity and we have used office LAN network for our demonstration. IP address allocated for this vehicle is displayed here. Other than HVAC ECU, all the ECUs are connected with radiator fan, LED indicator, IR transmitter and receiver. Radiator fan demonstrates the functionality of actuator in the vehicle. LED demonstrates the functionality of telltale indicators in the vehicle. IR transmitter and receiver demonstrate the functionality of message blocking failure. Ambient sensor is connected to HVAC ECU to measure ambient temperature and the measured ambient temperature is displayed here. Finally, this whole setup resembles vehicle. For the demonstration, I am a service person. I am going to diagnose this vehicle remotely. Remote vehicle diagnostic. First, the IP address of the vehicle has to be entered. This is the main page of the remote vehicle diagnostic, user authentication. The user has to enter the username and password for login credential. If the login credential matches with the vehicle login credential, it will allow you to the second window which is device authentication. This board is used to generate the random key based on the algorithm upon key press. The generated random number has to be entered here for device authentication. Now the device is authenticated. This will lead to the main window of remote vehicle diagnostic wherein the input output can be controlled, reading the status and also monitoring the failure of the vehicle and also sending the message to the vehicle. Read service window. I am going to read the status of all input outputs connected in the node. Now it is read. For example, ABS ECU, I am pressing a switch, LED, LED switch and also motor. Now LED is on and motor is on. I am reading the status. It is on. Now I am pressing again to make it off. Now LED is off and motor is off. Now if I read the status of the LED, it is showing me it is off. off. And I can read the ambient temperature again, it which is also displayed in HVAC ECU. This demonstrates the functionality of read services. Read DTC window. Now I am going to read the status of all failure connected in the node. There is no failure present in the system. For example, I am going to simulate the LIN message blocking failure by blocking the IR transcription and reception path for BCM. I am reading again. So, there is a failure is detected. For HVAC, 
I am simulating the failure of short to ground, shorting the sensor output to ground and I am reading the status, yes, it is giving me short circuit to ground and I am also uh, shorting the output to supply. I am reading again, yes, it's, it's, the DTC is getting locked, short to supply. I am removing the failure, I am reading it again, so there is no failure present in the system. So this demonstrates the functionality of reading the DTC remotely. IO control window. If the vehicle is running, controlling input output are not advisable. So I need to request for extended IO control request. It is displayed in telematic ECU. Indicates the service center requesting the remote access. If the user is accepting the request, then he has to press the key. Then only I can go to IO control session. Now I am entering to the IO control window. My extended request is accepted. For example, ABCCU, I am switching on the LED and I am also switching on the motor. You can see the LED is on and motor is on. If the user is pressing a key for LED and also the motor to switch it off, there is no impact is happening because since I am in diagnostic session, diagnostic has highest priority. If I release the control, release the LED and release the motor, now the user can switch it on and switch it off whatever the way he can control it. Can you press on the LED? Now it is on, motor is on. So the user can control it. So this is how the demonstration of IO control service. Sending message to vehicle. It is used to send the message from the service center to vehicle. For example, I am sending the service expiry message. Service expire on third. Sending message to vehicle. The message is displayed in telematic ECU. This is about the overall demonstration of remote vehicle diagnostic prototype.